Six people, who had never met before, came together to have some topical discussions around what makes them tick. Having these open conversations shines a light on generational misconceptions and understanding modern consumer behaviors. They talk about their habits, preferences, and honest, unfiltered feelings. This is Know Your Customer. I'm Abby, by the way. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Shay. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Cher, what does good customer experience look like to you? Uh, to me, I think it's just being friendly, uh, offering support, and just communicating effectively with somebody. Like if they have an issue, then you'll be able to sort it out. And most of all, just being polite. Mm, that's fair enough. <laughs> Basic things of yeah. our school, yeah, yeah. So you don't really look for much really just the basic nice food. well that's quite rare these days actually really oh, damn. <laughs> do you mean like when you go into shops or like mm -hmm. online experience both really okay yeah. that's fair enough have you bad, had bad experiences then quite a few yeah I, i've not see never i've never really had like a bad bad experience yeah. would would you change provider if customer service was bad um I'm the type of person I like to stick to originally what I've signed up for. So if I'm with something, but I'm going to make sure that they're actually on point with their customer service and that kind of stuff. So I feel like if they're not friendly, then I'm not really going to bother. Mm. Are you quite brand loyal? Do you like yeah. stick with the same brands? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair enough. I do. I definitely do. Yeah. Um, when I'm looking at a service or company, I don't really care about the customer experience if I'm being completely honest. I look at what is most cost effective and what is cheapest. They could not even call me by my own name and I would still probably pay for it if it was the cheapest. Unless it causes a problem with money and mm -hmm. I cannot get a refund or something or I cannot cancel a service, it will probably not affect me and I won't care. How do you feel about companies contacting you with like relevant offers and stuff that they can offer you? Um, I'm pretty open-minded to it, but I think sometimes they have too much access to your information and stuff. Okay. Like I know there's all those things you've got to accept like terms and conditions. I just think it's too much sometimes. I don't think I've ever had like an email from a service provider and like actually read it if I'm being obvious. Really? <laughs> if I'm being honest. Because I don't, I'm not looking for that need. Mm. If I am looking for it, then I'll, I'll look for it myself. Um, or if they're giving me info, like information about new terms and services. Yeah. I don't even read it. Okay, <laughs> no, that's interesting. I, I quite like to look through the emails. I oh, really? Because you never know what you can find. Sometimes you can get like, they're offering you a little free or something. True. So. Yeah, that's true actually. I should probably read them because I've probably like sold my soul on like 10 of them <laughs> through terms and conditions, but like, I just mm. don't read them. I don't know. It's too much work and effort. Yeah. It's too much writing. They give me like an essay to read and I'm not doing that. Especially if I'm not even using their service, you know? Mm. I'm not going to do it. When I'm, oh, when yeah. I'm looking for help, I like chatbots because I don't like speaking to someone. I don't know. I get like a lot of anxiety about it. And okay. also with a chatbot, it's like, re like you can read it and I take it better reading than listening. And it's all where the info is still there. You can scroll up and down. You haven't forgot it. Um, yeah. I don't like calling if I'm honest, if I have a problem. Do you like calling people? Um, sometimes, but I more use the chat to be honest. Yeah. Especially when it's like really efficient and fast. So what annoys you about online services I get? Like when you're speaking to someone, what would annoy you? Um, just when they're like, kind of like, oh, we can't help you with that. 
and then there's no other That's true, you and you're helpless. Say. You're like, well, I'm not in your office right now. I cannot do anything. I need your yeah. help. Yeah. My my experience has definitely changed. I really? I definitely realise that I expect faster communication stuff from people okay. when really I need to take a step back and go, well, there are people. I yeah. should expect that. But online, definitely. I expect instant service. Yeah. Do you really care much about your personal data being uh, I do care about it, but I feel like these days it's very unavoidable. I care about my personal data. Mm -hmm. I just don't know about, like I don't know what is on there, if that makes sense. And okay. I don't know what I'm signing when I, when I allow cookies. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that actually means. Yeah, I try to avoid accepting any cookies. <laughs> I try avoiding, but sometimes you have to because I have no clue what my personal data is. I, I literally don't have like an, an understanding of that, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about personal data. <laughs> I don't know what they can see. So I kind of just like sign anything. Like I don't mind cookies. That's probably like really bad. But I just like go willy nilly on the internet. I need some apps. So what do I do? When I don't agree to terms, conditions yeah. and data, what do I do? I can't do any of them. So yeah. I got to sign up. <laughs> I could do that. But I'm not going to, because that'd be horrible. How would you feel sharing your data with a company that would give you better customer service? Uh, I would feel horrified and not very happy mm. because companies should not have any of my data like yeah. on there, unless it's like to deliver a package to me and they need my address. Mm. That should be it. They should have nothing else because like, what is a per what is a better personalized experience like what is that is that yeah. saying my name in front of an email like okay you can do that i guess but like i don't care mm. what else is a personalized experience is it personalized ads because they're not good for me because i'll just spend more money yeah. so it's just like it's not good like you don't need to know my info you're only using my info and you only need my info to benefit yeah. you i feel I like i feel like it's a bit like blackmail that is so yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like, for you to get good customer service, you have to do this. But why can't you just get it anyway? I mean, most places, to order something, you have to have an account. Mm. Otherwise, you're not ordering. So yeah, it's it's definitely like, well, you know, we, we need you to make an account and we need your bank details. Otherwise, you can't get this. Yeah. And also, like, a lot of websites now use that, like, Google Pay and stuff, where, like, they automatically have your bank details and stuff, which is quite like I scary. I never use Google Pay. Oh, okay. I'm very old school. I'm yeah, yeah. Use, like, Just your, con do you have like a contactless card? Yeah, but I only, I had it before and then I got it taken off because I'm old school. But then they sent me another one, which had the contact. Yeah, it's automatic so, now, I think. They just yeah. automatically send it. But I might get rid of it. 